Hi, welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to your host and server or website using FTP. So to demonstrate this tutorial, I'm going to head over to my remote PC. Reason why is because this just has a fresh install of Cyberduck. So first things first, head over to cyberduck.io and just simply download Cyberduck. It's fairly straightforward, so I won't be going through this step. Once you have that downloaded, just log into your cPanel. And once you've logged in, just look for FTP or you can just search at the top for FTP. And then click on FTP accounts. Now in most cases for all cPanel, you just scroll to the very bottom and you can see special FTP accounts. So these accounts are basically for administrative aspects of your hosting account. And this is usually tied in with your cPanel username. Now for cPanel, you can just click on configure FTP client. And you can see we have three different options. Now obviously we're gonna go with Cyberduck. Now to securely connect, uh, you should be using the SFTP. If you don't have this available, you will have to download the configuration file for just standard FTP. So I'll just click on SFTP and I'll just download this to my desktop. And if we take a look here, you can see we have the file. Just double click it to open. It should automatically detect seeing as we have Cyberduck installed. So this will say unknown fingerprint if this is your first time connecting using the config file. I usually check always and then click allow. And of course you do have to put in your password. SSH key, set that to none. Save the password because you don't want to be entering this every time. Or if you do, you can uncheck that. And then for me, I'll just click login. Now that did say try again, so all I did was click try again and it's still connect. So you might get that error message, but it doesn't really matter. Just click try again. And you can see here we are now connected to basically the root of our hosting account. So that's fairly straightforward, but what if you want to create an FTP account for a particular uh, domain or section in your website and you don't want to give someone complete access well that's fairly straightforward so what we'll do is head back to our cpanel and in this case we're going to be working with the demo user so i've already created this user but all you can do is simply click on add user for me i'll go in and i'll edit this and we just simply enable ftp for this particular user so for the home directory, just set this to your website root directory. So in our case, we're working with demo.kingsley.tech, which is the subdomain. So I'm just gonna quickly get that path and paste it in. Just make sure this is correct because this FTP is going to bind to this uh, path. So if I click save, And if we go back to our FTP accounts, and I'll just search for demo.kingsley.tech, and then click on configure FTP client. And you can see here, this time we don't have the option of SFTP. So what you do is just download this file and you can give this to whoever the admin is for that particular subdomain. Uh, let's just assume it's us so we'll download to the desktop and if we double click you can see it's saying that it's unsecure because we're not using sftp so i'm just going to click continue and this will prompt for the password for this particular user and then just click login so this is basically how you set FTP for a different user account. So if you have someone who's managing a particular area of your website and you don't want to give them full access to um, your admin FTP account, you can just create a particular FTP account for them and just give them this file and they can log in with their credentials. 
So that's just kind of my way of doing it. But of course you can definitely just set up your FTP path to wherever you like, but do bear in mind that they won't have access to your website, just that particular path that you set. I actually also forgot to mention if your configuration file doesn't work for some odd reason, then you can do this manually by simply clicking open connection. And when you go to your cPanel under the configure FTP client, you can see the manual settings are just here. So for your server, it's usually FTP dot your primary domain. So copy this, paste it here. And then the username is usually the email. And of course, you can see there it autofill the password and then set the port to 21 and connect and continue. And you can see now we're connected. Now it is slightly different for your admin FTP account. If it does allow for SFTP configuration, then just select SFTP. You can see it changed the port to 22 and we'll just put in that username. Now the reason why it actually auto fills this is because I have these uh, passwords saved to my Cyberduck and we'll click connect. You can see it's authenticating and it connects. Now generally this method is what I do for when I'm trying to give FTP access to someone else other than me. But assuming I want access to just that subdomain, what I usually do is just use my cPanel um, FTP account and then I go to that location. And while I'm in here, I just go to bookmark and then new bookmarks. And then I just simply rename this to demo.kingsley.tech. So the good thing about doing it this way is that you are already connected using SFTP and generally that's only um, available when you connect using your main cPanel account. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this video helped you out and I do apologize if it's slightly confusing. I do plan on making more videos around cPanel and Cyberduck. So if you do have any suggestions, please make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. So yeah, do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.